Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is Man United Central. I'm super excited that you're back here. Guys, we did it. Man United 3, Nottingham Forest 2. Guys, the game was incredible, right? At the beginning, the first, what, four minutes, boom, we're down 2-0. It was a disastrous start. But uh, personally, I think that was the worst thing that could happen to Nottingham Forest, going up to that early. Because that means that United knew that, look, they had to score three goals. So we were going for those three goals, and boy, our boys did their thing, right? First of all, I gotta say, okay, the first goal that they scored on us, Onana, I mean, I expected him to come out for that ball, but I don't know why he, he kind of hesitated. So I don't know if he was thinking, well, you know what? If I come out, I could be chipped by a Wonyi, the, the strike, the Nottingham Forest striker. But he kind of hesitated, so he, he stayed back in the goal, right? Which may not be the right thing to do because, um, you know, uh, you know, he probably could have prevented that goal. But again, also Rashford was also at fault in that as well because Rashford should have, you know, he has this pace. He should have been able to, you know, try to prevent that goal by getting to the ball faster. But again, Awomi, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, he's a beast, right? Uh, that was my one player that I was I kept on fearing this whole game, like he's going to he's gonna end up doing something. And he did, right? So, boom, they scored the first one. Before you know it, we gave out a free kick, and then they, uh, you know, it was a free kick, and then they scored on that. To me, the second goal was pretty, it looked like a lucky kind of goal, because um, uh, I forgot the name who scored. He kind of, he didn't expect it, uh, expected to hit, to do that, to hit the header. They scored, all right. So from that point, you know, our boys kind of, you know, we got ourselves together. One thing that I noticed that we didn't do this time after going down is we, our heads didn't drop, right? We maintained focus, we stayed calm, and we went to work. And that was really positive to see. Um, I gotta give it to, of course, Licha and Varan. They were advancing the ball very well. Guys, one B Saka. His game has really advanced, man. Like the way he was going, inverting um, from that um, right hand side, he did, he played fantastically well, right? So, you know, we, we played our game, you know, we finally, um, and Rashford being on that left, Rashford should never be a number nine again, man, because on that left, he was dangerous. You know he was he tried he was trying to uh, track back but the important thing is being on the left he was able to cut in and he was um he was he was a nightmare for Aurea and he was able to cut in uh, to get behind and then you know uh, uh, gave that cross with his left foot and Ericsson did his thing boom just like that we were back right before the second half second half comes in we get that free kick you know Bruno he hits the ball. It was a really wor well worked free kick because uh, you can see that they practiced that. And you know, the rest is history. Uh, our boy Casemiro, you know, headed up, yeah, was able to uh, score that goal. Very nice. You know, at that point, you know, we knew like, okay, we have to go in for the killer. And again, Rashi again from that left, you know, he was able to cut in, fouled, you know, we got that penalty. Right, and from the penalty, of course, you know, Captain Magnifico himself, Bruno Fernandes, stepped up. He was cool, calm, and collected. That was a lot of pressure. You can imagine, guys, a lot of pressure because he knew that look, uh, we have to score here. If we don't, uh, he could feel the pressure. You know, he could feel the pressure from the get go. So he stepped up, he took the penalty nicely, you know, and dispatched the ball. We were up 3 2. You know, and then from there, of course, um, you know, uh, Nottingham Forest got um, the defender, their captain, uh, sent off by pulling uh, Bruno down. Uh, Bruno's being the last uh, player, like preventing a clear and obvious goal. Yes, he was red carded. Was it a fair red card? You know, it really doesn't matter. It was red carded, so for that point on, they were playing ten men. You know, we, I, I was hoping that we're gonna, we're gonna put them to sword more. But we were still not that clinical, right? But still, 
you know, we 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 held on, and uh, the last few minutes before the game ended, yeah, that was uh, nerve wracking because you know, in the past, you know, we've seen like you know we can be up one nil or something like that, and then the last few minutes, you know, they score on us. But this time, you know, the team held. The team showed that their, their togetherness was there. They were fighting for that badge, for that shirt, you know, and they they pretty much showed the, in this game I actually saw that the, the, the boys were they were, they were they, they look fitter right uh, they were up for the game and again it's at home so you know the, the crowd was feeding them so he, he, he felt good you know for them and they you know they really fought hard to be able to come back from being two nil down to win three two that is a really um, um, it's a really uh, positive and um, you know it gives more energy to us as a fan as well that you know these players they got what it takes when they need to do what they need to do right so um, my, my kudos to the team kudos to Ten Hag for making the, those tweaks to get us that win that we needed because we knew that we had to win that match guys it, you saw in my preview I said it's a must win because all the haters and everybody they were ready for us you know they were gonna come for us of course even today you're gonna you're gonna see a lot of things uh in the social media in the news saying oh united you know they went two two nil down in, in another in another five minutes or six minutes or something like that they're still gonna hate but the boys fought back we never say die and that showed in this game the boys never saved died they kept on fighting they believed they could win and that's what we need to do in all the games right never get our heads down when we go down you know uh like early or we get scored on because that's what it used to be in the past we get scored on and the next thing like we're not performing the, what we need to do we're not following the principles you know uh, according to uh what uh, ten hag has been teaching them so guys this is really good really good move an excellent win we are now what six points you know what we're better than what we were last season this is fantastic i hope you guys enjoyed the game you know what bring on arsenal man and also before bring on arsenal i think um the low on that left hand side he did his thing you know he did his thing and i think he'll be able to do the job against arsenal so we'll see so bring on arsenal it is on and we you know what arsenal they they dropped the points today which is really good for us right so when we go i think we're playing um at their field we have to win right guys thank you so much for being here as you're rolling out do me a favor hit the like subscribe notification bell that way you do not miss any new videos coming out of this channel thank you so much guys i hope you have a fantastic weekend peace